Hello, Holy Infant parishioners. The parish staff has continued to work diligently, even if remotely, to ensure that ministries are still able to serve our parish family and the wider community. We want you to be assured that Holy Infant is here for you during these challenging times. No one has to go through the trials of this pandemic alone. As pastoral associate, part of my responsibilities is to oversee parish ministries related to pastoral care, such as the Eucharistic ministers to the sick and homebound and Stephen ministry. Both of these ministries have found ways to continue to reach out to people. By March 15th, our Eucharistic ministers had shifted from home visits to making phone calls weekly to the people that they are assigned to on their route that for that week. And they share the Sunday readings. They see how the person is doing and pray with them if they like. So our Stephen ministers have continued also to meet with their care receivers via telecare, phone calls, and virtual meetings. Stephen ministers also continue to care for families who've lost loved ones by sending the grieving family members a series of four booklets called Journeying Through Grief. And they do this throughout the year after the loss of the loved one. You know, over the five years of Stephen ministry at Holy Infant, our Stephen ministers have accompanied people through many of life's challenges. The loss of a loved one, coping with chronic illness or loneliness, troubled relationships and divorce, infertility and the challenges of adoption. We have heard some of our care receivers say, thank you for being my friend. Thank you for caring for my soul. Thank you for inspiring me to do the thing I knew I needed to do in the first place. One of our Stephen ministers who has experienced this ministry from both sides as a caregiver and a care receiver is Connie O'Sullivan. My husband Jim and I served as Stephen ministers. It is a privilege to walk with someone during their own crisis, but I never expected to be in need of a Stephen minister myself. When Jim was diagnosed with ALS and given six months to live, my fellow Stephen ministers stepped in and supported us with caring compassion. All of us are experiencing challenges during this pandemic. Healthcare workers on the front lines, those who've lost a job or are struggling with the demands of their job, those who are cut off from seeing friends and family, grandparents unable to hug their grandchildren, and parents trying to cope with the ever-changing school situation. We're especially mindful of our college students who are bemoaning the challenges or the loss of campus life. And our young adults who are struggling both professionally and socially in these difficult times. So let's hear from another one of our Stephen ministers, Edward Hinson. I trained to serve as a Stephen minister because I know all too well the unique challenges facing my generation and how those difficulties have only been multiplied by the pandemic. Uh, my work as an audio engineer routinely brings me into contact with the struggles of young people and uh, young adults who are just trying to find their way in the world. You know, experts tell us what we instinctively know. We're all young and old, experiencing grief as we mourn the loss of life as we knew it. So we could all benefit from a compassionate listener to share our burdens, big or small. Our Stephen ministers are gonna be making phone calls to parishioners just to let you know that your Holy Infant family cares for you and how you and your family are coping during this time of social distancing and isolation. Not all calls are expected to end in a develop into an extended friendship, but this one did. So now, hear from a couple of our parishioners, Winnie and Dawn. I made my first call to Winnie in April, just to check in and see how she was doing. Winnie is a senior living in assisted living 
She's got two daughters here and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. But like all of us, she is isolated and lonely as we all are. One of the nicest things about our friendship, I think, is that we pray together. Every time that we are ending our conversation, we think about and talk about who and what we wanna pray for. Always COVID, an end to COVID is in there but our family and friends and say a Hail Mary together. I really look forward to talking to Winnie every week. And I think she looks forward to talking to me too. When I ask her if I could quote her about our friendship, she said, yes, and it's been just wonderful. And she said, and be sure to say it's, it's wonderful to know Bill too. I was really touched the other day too when she said, when she says her prayers at night, she prays for her family and friends, and she prays for Dawn and Bill too. So the call will be an opportunity to share with a fellow parishioner how you and your family are doing. You know, even if you're blessed with a great support system, we hope you'll take the call or return the call if we leave a voice message. We're not gonna be having answers for you probably, <laughs> but sharing the burden can lighten the load. And to be sure that you're on the call list, contact me, Lynn Sale. We want to hear your concerns and your joys. Remember, they will know we are Christians by our love.